Sacha Dewan's master has to fit somewhere in the master's timeline, and there were a lot of people complaining that his master completely goes against Missy's character development in The Doctor Falls. But the thing is, I think people overlook the fact that this show is all about time travel, and the characters and monsters we see don't have to happen in chronological order. Just as an example, Death to the Daleks doesn't have to take place after Planet of the Daleks, but also don't yell at me if there's something connecting those two stories, I haven't seen them. So anyway, today's topic is where on the Master's timeline, Sacha Dewan's Master fits. First and foremost, let's define what the Master's timeline is currently without the Dewan Master in the mix. I subscribe to the theory that the Master's timeline doesn't happen chronologically in the series, even up to Sacha Dewan. If you haven't heard, this theory was made to correct some continuity errors regarding his timeline. For example, the John Sim and Derek Jacobi Masters had thumping in their heads from when they were exposed to the Time Vortex. However, the classic Masters that apparently come before them don't have this thumping. I mean, you could probably headcanon that one, but the theory goes that these are actually the earliest incarnations we see. When we see the John Sim Master in the Doctor Falls, he seemingly no longer has the thumping problem and he isn't nearly as erratic. So something happened after he went back into the Time War that got rid of this problem for his later regenerations. While it's confirmed in the Doctor Falls that Missy is a later regeneration of John Sim's Master, it's not outright confirmed that she is his next. So the theory is that the Master's timeline is actually that the John Sim Master regenerated into the Roger Delgado Master, then he regenerated into Missy, who then degenerated into the Pratt Beeves Master, who became the Ainley Master, who became the Roberts Master, and then the Roberts Master's fate at the end of the TV movie is actually the final fate of the master. So, with that out of the way, where does Sacha Dewan's master actually fit in all this? Well, the way I see it, there are a few possible places for him to fit. Though also keep in mind that we may never have official confirmation on where he goes in the timeline, and even if he does, maybe we shouldn't say anything definite until his run as the master is over. So anyway, let's talk about this. Now, Sacha Dewan's master doesn't have the thumping in his head, or at least as far as we know. So without retconning, that places him sometime after John Sim. One idea is that he comes between John Sim and Roger Delgado, which would make some sense considering the Dewan Master is somewhat similar to the Sim Master in personality, which could be residual uh, post-regeneration tendencies. Or alternatively, maybe the Dewan Master didn't kidnap and replace O, having looked like him. Maybe this Master is one of the Crispy Masters after Ainley but before Roberts, and he actually took O's body. Or, maybe the Master would have resurrected from his fate in the TV movie far in the future and become the Satchel Wand Master. But I do have a theory that I like above the rest. So it is canonical that the Time Lords res resurrected the Master to fight in the Time War. But in this theory, the Jacobi Master is the earliest incarnation we see, so presumably it's not the case that they resurrected Roberts like initially implied. So what happened? Well, I think that the Sacha Dewan Master is actually the new earliest incarnation of the Master. It's pretty much inevitable that at some point Gallifrey will return, and maybe the Sacha Dewan Master will be executed by the Time Lords after this for the destruction of Gallifrey, and later be resurrected for the Time War. I know this is counterintuitive, but the timeline of the universe in relation to the Time War has always been a little weird. Anyway, I think that if Dewan's Master didn't have the thumping in his head, which he doesn't appear to, though honestly at this point I wouldn't put it ha past him to just not have mentioned it so far, there's actually potentially a reason behind it. The Master's thumping faded over time, but either during the resurrection process or the chameleon arc process, it returned. So there's my admittedly pretty confusing theory as to where in the timeline is Sacha Dewan's Master. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for daily videos on the franchises you love, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.